Welcome to the Statue of Liberty! Wow, we're looking up inside the Statue of Liberty. Today we're leaving our campground and taking a bike ride over to the Statue of Liberty Ferry. Our campground is only a few minutes from Liberty State Park. And our plan today is to check out the Statue of Liberty and earn a Junior Ranger badge. So it was just a quick 15 minute bike ride over to the ferry terminal. Now we're going to leave from here on a ferry to Ellis Island and then we'll move on from there to the Statue of Liberty. This is the largest covered train area of its kind. There's over five miles of track underneath this covered area and there's over 100 miles of track in Liberty State Park. So at this 
point in the video, you must have some questions. So I am hopefully gonna answer some for you. Question number one, how many spikes are on um, the Statue of Liberty's crown? Answer is seven, for the seven seas and the seven continents. Why is the Statue of Liberty here? Why do we need it at first? Well, it wasn't actually at first meant to welcome people into the harbor. At first, it was meant to be a lighthouse, but the LED lights in the first torch were not bright enough to be a lighthouse, so it's not. Now, it's just a memorial. Question number three. Who built the Statue of Liberty? The name is Frederick Bartholdi. He wanted to make a present for the United States um, because he really liked the country and France did as well. Question number four. Um, what is the Statue of Liberty holding? She's holding a plaque that says the date of when the Statue of Liberty was first revealed. The next question is, why is the Statue of Liberty green? The Statue of Liberty is green because she is made out of copper and when copper is exposed to the weather for like 200 years, it will eventually create a covering for itself that is green. So that's why she appears green. And the next question and final question I think is, um, <laughs> is why can't you go up to the torch anymore? The reason for this is her inside of the torch was so old and so high that they won't allow people up there anymore. First he made a little clay model, then he made a bigger kind of clay model, then he made a bigger clay model, and then he made an even bigger clay model. The biggest he got was like 10 foot tall, and then that's the one that he showed to everybody. And how'd they get the actual statue here? Oh. So another question that you may have is how did they get the Statue of Liberty from France to here? Well they actually built it up in a giant um, warehouse and then they took the metal plating off and shipped it in big boxes. There were 216 boxes that came over on the boat from um, Paris to here, New York Harbor, and they dropped all the parts off on the island. People opened up the boxes and put it back together. Once the 216 boxes got to America, they had a little problem. New York had actually stopped building the pedestal because they were out of money. So a man named Pulitzer actually said, if you give even a penny to the Statue of Liberty, I will put your name in the paper. They eventually got enough money to build the rest of the pedestal so they could set the statue and structure on top of it. Hope you enjoyed this video, bye!